Hello folks. It's a beautiful day out here in Colorado. Got a little wind blowing, but not bad. Sitting here on the deck is great. Sun shining on me. <laughs> Can't beat this. You'd almost think I was retired. Man, we got the old Tucker Carlson. He stirred the pot, didn't he? My goodness gracious, them liberals and old turtleneck. It's a second command of the Senate, Mitch McConnell. I just kind of looks like an old turtle looking, peeking out of a shell, don't he? Then you got old Schumer saying that we're going to, that's going to destroy democracy. I mean, Tucker sing, single handedly is going to destroy the democracy. Oh, brother. I don't know what old Bullshift is saying. Haven't heard anything out of him yet, but I'm sure he's thinking of something. Or somebody's thinking it for him. <laughs> I'll tell you, boys. What a web we weave. Or they weave. I seen a deal. They took a survey of the NFL and the uh, NBA, I believe. They had on there who can... You know, who committed, how many people committed DUIs, how many people got caught shoplifting, and I don't know. There was just a list of crimes, you know, and went on and said, who do you think, uh, which which league do you think did this? Well, people guess one, people guess the other. Well, they was all wrong. It was our good old U.S. Congress, our good old congressmen and senators. I think when they got done, it looked like about 2% two, two of them weren't corrupt. I suppose that shocks everybody. But, and then I see this stuff and, that they're pulling out of these libraries, these kids are studying. School board don't want to look at it. Oh my goodness, that's pornography. Well, it's in your library for crying out loud. Then somebody kind of check that out before it gets stuck in there. But don't want nobody reading it to them. They don't want to look at the graphics, but it's okay for an eight-year-old. <laughs> How about that? My, my, my. I'm telling you. They don't get back to what's right. And put, uh, I think if we can uh, put that kind of junk in the libraries, we ought to be able to put the Bible in there. For what I'm thinking. We ought to be able to have prayer. You don't want to participate in prayer. You don't have to do anything. Just stand there. My golly. Kind of, kind of mind-boggling sometimes. Yes, sir. They was. Uh, I was thinking they had uh, the Democrats and stuff. The liberals had. They had uh, those tapes. They was keeping them under security. <laughs> uh, putting them in charge of that. So like, kind of like putting Nancy Pelosi in charge of the liquor cabinet, or have Hunter Biden, you know, be in charge of your. All girl choir. <laughs> what a joke. They think we're stupid enough to believe all this. Ain't that something? I'm telling you. Well, I did get to take me a little ride the other day and check out my saddle. I think things are going to work pretty good. A little old horse didn't buck me off. That's always a good sign. <clears throat> when we keep having these warmer days, I'm going to get down there and do a little more riding and get myself all limbered up. Can't just sit around up here all, all winter. But I haven't been, doing a little reloading, working on my tack. Every once in a while, a little woman has things for me to do, but that's all. That's fine. If it wasn't for us, us two sticking together, we'd have never made it through our son's passing, that's for sure on each other pretty hard. That's what you got to do in a marriage. You got to lean on each other. It ain't the easiest job in the world, but it's fulfilling. We all goof up. Lord knows I have. Why this woman hung with me, I'll never know. But anyway, a little rambling again, I guess. You folks all take care out there. Pray for the country. Pray for everything. But one more thing. What do y'all think about these train derails? I know, without a shadow of a doubt, it's Trump's fault. 
it's got to be Trump's fault. Either that or it's because they haven't been able to legislate enough gun control. It's got to be an AR-15 fault. Somebody was probably out there and shot the railroad track with their AR-15. That's probably what did it right there. More than likely, it's Trump, somehow it's Trump's fault, I would assume. But anyway, folks, God bless y'all. And uh, we'll be talking to you. So have a good day. And happy trails.